All right, Leo, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for December 11th through the 17th of 2017. And this video is for Sidereal. If you don't know what that is or are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below. We're using the actual size of the constellations, which does change the signs from mainstream astrology. And you do want to make sure you have your sun, moon, or ascendant in Sidereal, Leo. All right, so this week, Leo, we have a very important new moon taking place very early next week. Um, late Sunday of this week, early Monday of next week. And the reason it's so important is because it is going to be conjunct the galactic center. So this is the part of the sky, which is the center of the galaxy. And when planets go through this very sensitive part of the sky, there is always some sort of transformation, a rebirth. And so now with this new moon, it is a new rebirth and a transformation for all of us in some particular way. For you, it has to do with your home, your fourth house. The house that has to do with home, family, roots, and your fundamental soul, your fundamental emotional uh, internal well-being, your foundation there. So new beginnings with this around the corner, very transformational, this rebirth with it. And this week we have Mercury retrograde forming a couple aspects in this area uh, leading up to it. So as we approach the end of this week, the energies are dying down. We're at the ending of the last uh, lunar cycle. So very good to be receptive and listen, but also with Mercury retrograde, just this week, try a bunch of new things with the home, continue to learn about it or with family or you know emotional things in life, personal life stuff. It's a lot to learn with this retrograde and that could be setting the foundation for the new beginnings around the corner. All right, so Leo, let's look at all this here in more detail when we return. All right, Leo, so here's your chart for the week. And down here at the bottom is the fourth house where you have all these fast moving planets at this time. So yes, around the corner, new beginnings with your home life. A lot of you, maybe new location, maybe some of you new family life in some way, um, this type of stuff, this personal stuff in life. So this is the part of your chart collectively for Leo, the fourth house where the galactic center is, uh, suggesting that this is an area that's very important to you, right? And it's also an area that we have fears about because it's important. It's like where the ego is holding on really tight, much like Pluto. So with this new beginning, which again, we'll feel as we get into next week, but it will be this new beginning about what we can shed. What fears can we shed? Not push away, but just are naturally going to fall away as we get in touch with this internal transformation that's taking place here. So this weekend, really good to, again, listen, get in touch with that inner beingness, see what we're shedding here and what we're releasing, what we're letting go of, because through those endings comes new beginnings. And this is, again, we're going to be very transformational. It's going to take time, right? The, the lunar cycle has to gain momentum, but a very transformational lunar month coming up here. So let's talk about um, this uh, Mer Mercury retrograde. Mercury is going to go retrograde over the sun Tuesday, Wednesday which is uh, always very illuminating. This is actually the halfway point of the retrograde um, movement for Mercury. And so now there's this awareness, right? So the sun illuminates, your ruler illuminates. And what it's gonna be illuminating is a lot of the stuff you have been probably rethinking or learning regarding your personal life uh, this past week or two. And so really good to be aware of this. Again, it's an area you just wanna experiment with right? Try new things with the home life, personal life, reflect on the past a bit, right? This type of stuff. And through this, you're going to be, like I said, learning a lot. And there could be some awareness here Tuesday, Wednesday pertaining to this stuff. And because it is involving your ruler, maybe just rethinking your personal needs, what you enjoy in your personal life and what your values are regarding home, family, health, these personal things in life. Now the values, even maybe more so Friday, Saturday, because Mercury retrograde is going to go over Venus, planet of values. And so seeing what you value about your roots, home, personal life, right? And also re-examining the importance of building stability in your life. Venus rules your 10th house of productivity, achievement, success in the fourth house. Turns this more inward of building foundations, long-lasting foundations. And how can you bring balance into your career life and your home life? 
right? Which are seemingly opposite areas of life, but need that balance. Also may be reflecting on matters pertaining to the importance of communication, Friday, Saturday, uh, the importance of learning and being open-minded and all that kind of stuff. Because this new beginning is going to be a new beginning with your learning, like with your perspective on life of being more curious, more open-minded. And then also a new beginning with your career in many ways with the new moon conjunct Venus. So uh, great couple days leading up to the new moon to sort of re-examine those values there. Now, also uh, with the new moon, it is going to be trining up to Uranus. In fact, your ruler is going to be trining up to Uranus Friday, Saturday. So this is a very freeing new moon. I mean, it always is with the galactic center, but freeing in this sense that over the past eight years, a lot of you have been finding the freedom of vulnerability and the freedom of getting deeper in life and connecting to what matters most. So all of this depth, intimacy, openness, and all this can be very freeing for you, a fantastic weekend for this stuff. And it is part of this new beginning. Now there's also a square to Chiron. So because Chiron is the ruler of a fucus where the new moon will be, there is likely some healing that will be taking place this weekend. But great, you know, use this as a constructive weekend to do this inner healing, to accept any wounds that come up. And again, this is all setting the stage because this will be the very low point of the cycle, of this last cycle. It is a time of releasing, getting in touch with our inner self right before what is this transformation. This very much is an inward transformation for you. It's a transformation of your feelings. It's also the transformation of habit patterns, you know, breaking free from any habit patterns, things like this. But listen this weekend and this stuff in regards to what is actually externally manifesting, like maybe home, family for some of you, things like this. That'll be more so next week when we'll see that. This weekend, it's this internal transformation first. All right, so Leo, have a fantastic week. Thank you for watching. Um, do check out the yearly forecast if you haven't yet. I put those out last week. And I'm also running a holiday discount uh, for the new year. So if you want a uh, specific look at 2018, be sure to check out that link. It's for 20% off. All right, Leo, have a great one. See you next time.